So this video is just to share how we at Britannia Education Trust are planning to continue students' education over the next few weeks. Each year group will have a dedicated uh, website made through Google Sites which will include all their home learning content. I'm a teacher in year two and this is our example. Um, and every day the students will have a new web page for that day's learning and tasks. Um, for example, this is our page for Tuesday. Um, and we start off with some handwriting activities from Oxford Owl. Um, and here's a video of part of the lesson being recorded. Hello Year 2, so we are going to start our practice of doing um, kind of ES and then come back and we will do the next second E up again and round for the E. This video was recorded using Screencastify and then the students would watch that video and then practice some handwriting skills on paper at home. Then on to maths, again we use Screencastify to record a video. and welcome to lesson two, describing three-dimensional shapes. So it says here, here's Ravi. So we're going to look for faces. Let's get a bigger one. So here, can you remember the name of what this is called? It's got edge. In some lessons, we ask students to share their ideas using Flipgrid, which is a fun, easy-to-use video sharing platform from Microsoft. And in this lesson, they were asked to find 3D shapes around the room and describe the faces. Um, so here I've pixelated the student faces uh, for this demo vis video, and we're going to listen to one response from one of them. And students can reply as well, create video responses. We think this could be a great way for students to see and hear from their peers despite being stuck indoors. And of course, teachers can respond to the videos with personalised video feedback. So then back on the website, there's a the Let's Learn part of the maths lesson with more teaching content. And then students complete can complete the guided practice. Um, this link takes them to the assignment, which is in Google Classroom, um, which is where all of their work is kind of organised and stored and where we can mark it as teachers. So this is what the lesson looks like, and we decided to use a Jamboard to present it, which is like kind of like a slideshow presentation where you can uh, draw over the top of it very easily. So this is just an image from Maths No Problem, and this is an example of how the students can complete the work. Um, for this page, they could add in sticky notes with the answers rather than trying to write words using their mouse, um, and then they can just drag it into the correct box like this. Um, so. It's very easy as a teacher to see the work students have created. You just have to click on the student work tab and I can see all the students in my class and the work that they've done. So I'm going to click on this example and I can see here um, that this child got, you know, the cone was correct, cylinder correct. Um, but also more than that, you can give video feedback. So again, I use Screencastify, created this video. Hello. Well done, you've got everything on this page correct. And then number of vertices, you, I'm going to move that one, so I want you to double check that. And number of edges, I want you to double check that. So well done on these two, but the others I want you to do again. So I could give personalised feedback private to that one particular student. Then we'd have other tasks like writing, readings, maybe a topic task, um, but they'd vary every day. Just to show you as well, this is an example from the Year 5 page for one of their days so there's again a math task they're looking at perimeter they did their guided practice using a google form which is like a survey and again it's built into the web page so students can just watch the video and then answer the questions below and they'll get instant feedback from this saying if they've got the answer correct or not and the teachers can see which students got it correct and and who might need some more input then this is the year four page, uh, and again, this is for one of their days, and they've got videos handwriting at the top, videos of them explaining their lessons. They're looking at, I think, um, place value and, and decimals. Then further down, they've also uh, shown how you can do some guided reading, perhaps. They've taken this text from Twinkle, um, so students would read that, and then they would answer questions on the form, just like in the previous example. Um, and they've also done a really cool thing where if this says, can you summarise a text? And when they've said, if they don't write enough, they get a special message saying, you've not written enough, keep summarising, nor is watching you. That's their teacher's name. 
So that's how we're planning to use a range of online tools to support the students learning over the next few weeks. Um, we know that there's you know lots of other ways of doing things and we're really really open to feedback you know we won't get everything right we'll make many mistakes um, but i hope that video was helpful and maybe gave you a few ideas how you might do things at your school um, so yeah thank you for watching